السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إخوتي أهلا بكم في قناة ستوري تيلا في هذا الفيديو أحدثكم عن جيش الشيطان الحياة المادية الفانية والحياة الأبدية يقول الله تعالى يا أيها الناس اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون كما يقول الله تعالى يا قوم إنما هذه الحياة الدنيا متاع وإن الآخرة هي القرار May the peace, mercy, and blessings of God be upon you, my brothers. Welcome to the Storyteller channel. In this video, I tell you about Satan's army, mortal material life and eternal life, God says, O people, worship your Lord who created you and those before you that you may become righteous. He also says, O my people, this life of the world is only a matter of and indeed the hereafter is the abode of rest. Asterisk whoever does an evil deed will not be rewarded except the like of it, and whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, and is a believer, those are they enter paradise wherein they will be provided without reckoning. My Muslim brothers, man was created for a great purpose. He was created in this world to achieve it, and everything on earth was subjected to him for its sake. وقال تعالى إن مثل الحياة الدنيا كما إن أنزلناه من السماء فاختلط به نبات الأرض مما يأكل الناس والأنعام حتى إذا أخذت الأرض زخرفها وزينت وظن أهلها أنهم قادرون عليها أتاها أمرنا ليلا أو نهارا فجعلناها حصيدا كأن لم تغن بالأمس كذلك نفصل الآيات لقوم يتفكرون وقال تعالى وفرحوا بالحياة الدنيا وما الحياة الدنيا في الآخرة إلا متاع كما قال تعالى اعلموا أنما الحياة الدنيا لعب وله وزينة وتفاخر بينكم وتكاسر في الأموال والأولاد كمثل غيس أعجب الكفار نباته ثم يهيج فتراه مصفرا ثم يكون حطاما وفي الآخرة عذاب شديد ومغفرة من الله ورضوان وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور وقال نبينا صلى الله عليه وسلم لو كانت الدنيا تعدل عند الله جناح بعوضة ما سقى كافر منها شربة ماء God Almighty said, And I did not create the jinn and mankind except not to worship them. And he said, Glory be to him. How can you disbelieve in God when you were dead and he gave you life? Then he will cause you to die, then he will bring you to life, then to him you will be returned. It is he who created for you all that is on earth, then turned to the heaven and made them seven heavens, and he is all-knowing of all things. And whoever knows this, knowledge is complete. He was limited to it. He did not waste his time or effort in a temporary home. His stay in it was only like the stay of a traveling traveler. The messenger, may God bless him and grant him peace, said what do I have to do with the world? My likeness and the world's likeness are only like a rider who walked on a summer day, stayed under a tree for an hour, then departed and left it. Yes, my Muslim brothers, there is no room for a rational person to waste his time and waste his effort in a matter like this, except that since a person does not have to have from this world is a share of food, drink, shelter, marriage, and the like. The wise man is the one who can intelligently combine striving in his life in this world is to fulfill his needs, and his work for the hereafter is to save him and free his neck. Indeed, the wisest of the wise is the one who is able to turn his entire life into slavery. To God, obedience, and righteous deeds are accepted, for which he will attain reward and reward, by having good intentions in all his deeds, large and small. An ignorant person is the one who makes his biggest concern. His intentions and reform, and he neglected his hereafter and devoted his best time to it and forgot his fate. And more ignorant among him is he who makes his religion a means for obtaining his benefits from this world. قال تعالى وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون 
وقال سبحانه كيف تكفرون بالله وكنتم أمواتا فأحياكم ثم يميتكم ثم يحييكم ثم إليه ترجعون هو الذي خلق لكم ما في الأرض جميعا ثم استوى إلى السماء فسواهن سبع سماوات وهو بكل شيء عليم God Almighty said, and whatever thing you have been given is the enjoyment of God. The life of the world and its adornments, and what is with God is better and more lasting. Will you not understand, and God Almighty said, rather, you prefer the life of this world, but the hereafter is better and more lasting. Niamakudi of the Muslims, indeed, the wise person must have something of the enjoyments of this world and its provision by which he can attain his journey to the hereafter. قال تعالى من كان يريد العاجلة عجلنا له فيها ما نشاء لمن نريد ثم جعلنا له جهنم يصلاها مزموما مدحورا ومن أراد الآخرة وسعى لها سعيها وهو مؤمن فأولئك كان سعيهم مشكورا كلا نمد هؤلاء وهؤلاء من عطاء ربك وَمَا كَانَ عَطَاءَ رَبِّكَ مَحْزُورًا My Muslim brothers, the imbalance in the affairs of this world and the hereafter was and still is one of the greatest reasons that lead us to fall into major mistakes and disgraceful behavior in. The right of ourselves and those around us, for this world is nothing more than a means to achieve the objectives of the Sharia, and a bridge to attain eternal bliss. They stray from the truth, despise creation, transgress their limits, eat what is forbidden, and eat what is questionable, and then they must be reminded of what there came in the words of God and on the tongue of His Messenger some disparagement of the world and belittlement of its status. Perhaps they will be disciplined and refrain from loving it extravagantly, and their excesses in seeking and obtaining it will be curbed. God Almighty said, and the life of this world is nothing but play and amusement. And, they attack and the abode of the hereafter is better for those who fear. Will you not understand? And God Almighty said the example of the life of this world is only as water which we send down from the sky, and the plants of the earth are mixed with it, which people and livestock eat, until when the earth takes it was adorned and adorned, and its people thought they had power over it. Our command came to it, day or night, and we made it a harvest, as if it had not flourished yesterday. We explain the verses in detail for a people who reflect, and God Almighty said, and they rejoiced in the life of this world, and the life of this world in the hereafter is nothing but an enjoyment, and God Almighty said no that the life of this world is merely a game, amusement, and adornment, and boasting among yourselves, and an increase in wealth and children like raindrops whose growth pleases the disbelievers. When it becomes agitated and you see it turned yellow, then it becomes ruins, and in the hereafter there is a severe punishment and forgiveness from God and His satisfaction, and the life of this world is nothing but the enjoyment of deception, our prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, said if the world were equivalent to the wing of a mosquito in the eyes of God, he would not give an unbeliever a drink of water from it. Our Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, By God, this world in the hereafter is nothing but like one of you putting this finger of his, and he pointed with the index finger, into the right hand, and let him see with what it returns. Let us fear God, my Muslim brothers, and let us beware of the world being more beloved to us than the truth, or calling us to injustice toward creation, or tempting it with its hustle, so that we please those who do not accept it. We benefit from his pleasure, and we are angry with all the harm and destruction in his anger. In Sahih ibn Hibban, and it was authenticated by al-Albani, it says, He prayed may God bless him and grant him peace he said whoever pleases God by displeasing the people, God will suffice him, and whoever displeases God by pleasing the people, God will entrust him to the people. O oh God, make us among those who converted to Islam and were provided with sufficient sustenance, and who were content with what you gave them. My brothers, fear God, the Almighty, as he should be feared, and hasten to his forgiveness and his pleasure, and know that belittling the world and belittling its status is not a call for a Muslim to live in it. 
He is at the back of the carriage, ignorant of the sciences that benefit him, or neglecting the knowledge that raises him, or negligent in the industries and trades that it is necessary for him, or he is inactive and lazy and does not go out to learn, does not seek work, and is not proud of his production, or a bellowing coward who does not demand a legitimate right to him, but. The intention is for the Muslim to be moderate in his outlook on life, and to walk in it with balance according to the path of the noble Sharia, not attaching to its desires, nor he indulges in its pleasures, does not rush into its conflicts, and does not be a slave to its ignorance and racism, so he forgets the afterlife for its sake, and loses God's right to attain it. Or he transgresses the rights of his servants out of greed for them. Yes, brothers, what is blameworthy in this world is what distances a Muslim from his Lord, blinds him to the truth about himself, or makes him forget his weakness and inability, or pushes him to me. It has spread corruption on earth, so fear God your Lord, for your world is fleeting, and its ambitions are fleeting, so why do people rejoice in the little of it they get? And they grieve over the little of it they miss, until that becomes clear on their faces and appears on their tongues, and their complaints increase and become great because of it. They howled, their anger became intense, their lying became intense, their machinations became great and their tricks became numerous, and their common people had abandoned much of their religion and forgotten it. They were confused about it and their share of it was limited then that will not be evident on their faces, nor will their condition change, nor will anyone among them deny it who denies it for the sake of God. If people lose in the deal of one who sells his religion for his worldly life, and one who sells his religion for his worldly loss loses from it someone else, so beware. Beware, God Almighty says O you who have believed, fear God, and let every soul see what it has put forward for tomorrow. And fear God. Indeed, God is aware of what you do. Asterisk and do not be like those who forgot God. They have forgotten themselves. These are the transgressors. The dwellers of hell and the dwellers of paradise are not equal. The dwellers of paradise are the winners, thank you. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and interact with us with comments. May God reward you, Hira, and may God's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you.